to the Central Highlands Regional Council uh, annual art awards in the, in the Springshaw area. So here we are in the Bohemia Bicentennial Gallery and uh, you'll see in the background and around me here this uh, amazing diversity of um, entries uh, in our annual awards. Uh, it is a little bit different this year. Unfortunately with uh, some of the restrictions that we have, uh, we can't do it like we normally do and you'll get the chance though, to come down and see this wonderful art uh, during the month of March and, and right through to mid April, I think about the 13th of April. Uh, but we do want to keep going with those things that you like to do. So seven categories this year uh, with the Central Highlands Regional Council Acquisitive Award as well. Um, we'll have those for you online. Uh, you can check them out like um, you might have been here. But obviously um, this art uh, and certainly the gallery is going to be available for you. Uh, and that's the most important thing. It doesn't matter when and how we bring it to you, uh, we want to make sure you have that opportunity. So make sure you come down to the uh, Spiritual Gallery. Um, you'll get to meet uh, and maybe uh, read about Naomi White our Jones this year, who's, uh, as usual, uh, at Springshaw has a really, really tough job in uh, deciding uh, who those winners are. Uh, but look, there's something here for everyone. Uh, there's juvenile classes here uh, for our young artists uh, and all of our uh, local budding CQ artists uh, who provide us uh, with this wonderful feast for our eyes. So. Here we are at the uh, Bohemia Biennial Art Awards uh, for 2022 and we're working through our categories. Category 1 uh, is the easel based works. Uh, I'm here with Judge Naomi White and we're actually going to talk about the winner, uh, which is Loretta Horn with Feast. So this is it, Naomi. So a big piece, a good one to start with. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, it is a big piece. I like the simplicity of the shapes and all the colours um, just blend them together beautifully. Um, and then she's putting a little bit of texture on the cakes and the creams. And it tells just a lovely story of the people making food for themselves through COVID. And I think a lot of us did that. We all sort of went back to basics. But you know, it's just all little details. She's got in the plates, little, little um, um, lace on the edges and a little bit of a knife coming in. Yeah, it's just, it's just striking and it, it draws your eye in and there's always lots of things that you can look at. So. Well, no, and certainly in this space, it's the first mm. thing that actually drags your eye yeah. in. Is, and it actually starts making you hungry after a little while. So it's yeah, it does. So it, 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 it has that effect. So. It, yes, and it, yes, they look like things that you could just eat straight away. Absolutely. No, it's a great piece of work. Now, look, the second prize in that category was number 23, which was um, from our local artist again, Leonie Hopwood, with Camping Getaway. So we've moved now to our second category, which is the works on paper. So a real change, uh, and certainly a real change from our first category. And the winner in this section uh, is number 30, which is uh, Joanne Kerr's Golden Landscape. And, you know, quite a another colourful entry. But, Naomi, what do you think? I really like this piece. I like all the little marks she's making on the papers. Um, and just the colours that draw, you know, she's looking out of a car window or something I think I read and it's a quick piece but the textures she's brought into it and all the little squiggles and the sketching and the colours just this orange feel just jumps out at you and you can just see you know a row of trees in the background it's just and she's got a little piece of map across here so maybe she's coming from Toowoomba or something like that. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's very it's striking, isn't yeah, it? Very it's definitive. Nice, it's simple but striking. But all the little jaggedy edges, it just all comes together and it's just a really nice little piece. All right, well, second in this category uh, was entry number 38, uh, which was Leonie Hopwood's uh, entry, which was Outback Hut. So, uh, well, yeah, a lot of entries in and certainly getting a lot of commendations in our sections. Okay, we move to category three, which is uh, three-dimensional works. And this very, very striking piece of art here um, is our first place, uh, 
uh, and that is from Sharon Kirk with Limbo. So the structure of this piece um, you're drawn to very easily and all the details on the pieces of sticks that she's done, I'm sure each one tells a little story and it would be interesting if she could go through each one. There's even like there's a little bit of bits of gold. Um, Wire, wire wrapped up. Um, this one looks like it's got crosses on it. And just the movement of your eye coming down like that, and, and it just there's so much to take in. Look, there's a little eye she's done on, on a little knot in the wood there. And it's just, oh, it's just. It's just so almost now it's art within this piece. It's almost as yes. there's little pieces within it. Definitely, yeah. And it's amazing how, with the way this is hung, that you've got those shadows as well, which almost adds an another. That's thing. right. And if you had that hanging in your house during the day, you know, you get different shadows going that way and this way. And she's she's just made it with things that she's found too. So, you know, it's simple. Yeah. A beautiful piece. Yeah. Second prize in this um, uh, three dimensional work section was Carol Foster with their Shelley Beach Farms. Uh, and there was a highly committed in this section as well, which was for Elena Hayes with a really interesting work with a, a very holy book, which is a holy Bible, and it was Genesis out of an Eve. So she was highly committed in this section. Uh, this is category four, which is our photography section and digital art. And we're standing in front of the first prize winner, which was um, Karen Liebinger uh, with Smoky Hayes, a, a, a really, really interesting piece, Naomi. I think um, what's lovely about this piece is the softness in the background, but you've also got the shadow of the four, um, the trees in the foreground, which just gives it this like 3D effect that is quite interesting. And to get all the smoke and the haze that she's got in this photo is just, it is, it's quite a beautiful little piece. And you can just see bits of fire in here, but you just almost feel like that you can just walk into that. Um, I think that's what makes it, this one interesting and I really like it. It's actually hung really, really well in, the, in its mm -hmm. space there because it, it, it really um, puts a frame around yeah, that and it, and it actually really, really enhances yeah. it. Yeah. Just, you can just see you know, tufts of grass and there's detail in it, but it's all Beautiful and soft as well. So, yeah. It's an amazing piece. Beautiful there. Alright, so second in that um, category for the photography digital art was Gemma Isherwood. Uh, many of you know Gemma's work and her piece of work that uh, was second in this category was Hidden Currents. Well, folks, don't adjust your sets. Um, this is black and white. So, our next category is Category 5. And um, the winner of this section, uh, and it's very clearly this very graphic piece, is Rosalie Luck with Standing Tall 2. And I mean, this is another piece of jumps out of gravity. Mm. Even though it's black and white, you can still see all it's just beautiful detail in it. And you can see the structure. It's often in lino cutting that you just you lose what's going on. But she's just made the marks um, bold, she's confident. And the printing is beautiful, and uh, yeah, so because it can be quite difficult getting um, lino cuts to look so. Particularly that grove effect there. Yeah, like there's a lot to... going on, but you can see all the different elements that she wants you to see in it. Um, yeah, so I do love black and white as well. I think if you can get, get something to work in black and white. It's a great category and it's given um, um, our entrants a, a lot of uh, opportunity to work with. So, uh, second in that category um, was uh, Loretta Horn with Caught Out in Your Underwear, a very interesting piece when you want to see that. Uh, and there was a highly committed here, which was uh, another piece from Loretta um, with the breath on our neck. So, um, a great section. Okay, well, now we've moved to our juvenile categories, uh, Naomi. So, uh, and that's a real feature of uh, certainly. Uh, these Bohemian Awards is we get a really, really strong interest from our, from our young and budding artists. We're standing in front of the first prize winner here, uh, India, uh, 
with blurred lines. So uh, a really, really interesting piece of art. Yeah, I was drawn to this one from her um, artist statement. The purpose of this image was to mix masculine and feminine symbols as no longer do they need to be exclusive. There is more fluidity between genders and the separation between the two is becoming blurred. Acceptance of all is the key to my and the future generations. She's captured this straight away with the feminine lipstick, red, and the masculine of the white that you put on your barbell. And it's just, they're opposites and it just talks, it just says it straight away. It's amazing and, it, and it's block mounted and it really draws you into that story that you just said and the explanation and, and, and it, there's a really, really light bit that actually drags you into those colours and that, and that mm. big part of it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's a good thought, it's been good into that one. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, in that class, uh, second went to Matthew Weeks, a big tea pot. So, um, obviously another strong class for our juvenile artists. Well, this is the last of our categories, Naomi. So, another juvenile section. So, this is junior 12 years and under. So, certainly a class there for, um, I guess, our really young budding artists to get into. And we're standing in front of our first prize uh, winner here in this class, which was Ariana Stewart with um, an aptly named Blue Square. I just love the fact that a young person has gone abstract. Um, and just, it's just bold, it's simple, shapes, she's put the shapes together beautifully and yeah, it's just, I was just drawn to it when I walked in and I didn't know that there was a young person doing it, so yeah, it's just, it's just and, for the, simple. and for the light person it's just, it, it does immediately draw you in the simplicity yeah. of it, yes, it and is. the colours are quite yeah. matched, if you know what I mean, yeah. almost, they're, yeah. they're complementary. They complement each other, yeah. Alright, and second in that class, um, again, was Ariana Stewart, was very busy with candlelight, so uh, Ariana had a, obviously a very good uh, section in Category 7. Okay, uh, an important um, moment for the Gallery Awards this year is the Acquisitive Award, um, and this year the Central Highlands Regional Council Acquisitive Award um, goes to Sharon Kirk for uh, this very quiet piece that's sitting in the landscape, Colours Corner. Um, Naomi, what did you love about this? I just love how she's worked with this piece of paper. It's a whole artwork in itself. It's, I'm not sure if that's making sense, but the structure she's put on it is just as important as the colours and the markings that she's been that she's made with it, um, and the, the you know the, the soft pastels. Yeah, it's quite special. It's an amazing piece. And, and on behalf of the Central Islands Regional Council, we will really enjoy uh, having Sharon's works uh, hung in this gallery uh, as part of the collection here. Well, look, over the last couple of years, uh, we've had a lot of our judges say to us, um, "Can you provide uh, a real opportunity for our youth?" Uh, and we've taken that challenge up. So this year, uh, we've started off the Central Highlands Regional Council Youth Awards, uh, and they close on the 3rd of June. Now, the classifications, qualifications, anyone from the age of 10 to the age of 25, three yes. categories per age group. So uh, this will be an opportunity for everyone to have a crack at this. Uh, we've seen some wonderful art from our juveniles, like we've seen tonight. Uh, and we've also seen some uh, terrific art uh, for our uh, gallery awards right across the region from a lot of young budding artists. This is your chance to get all your work together. Really looking forward to for that. Uh, that'll happen in Emerald, uh, but get your awards in. It closes on the 3rd of June um, and we're looking forward to it. So make sure you've got something in. Uh, enjoy it uh, and, we, and we congratulate certainly uh, all those entrants uh, in this uh, uh, Springshaw section of our annual awards uh, and we particularly congratulate uh, all our winners and thank you.